Okay, so today I'm going to be making some meatballs because we're going to be having some spaghetti and meatballs for dinner. So I already have the ground beef. I have two eggs and some parsley. I'm going to add my salt. I'm going to season up that meat. I'm going to add my black pepper. Get that in there. I'm also going to add a little bit of garlic powder. You can use fresh garlic if you have, if you like. It's up to you. And I'm going to be putting in breadcrumbs. Put those all in. And I'm just going to use my hands that I just finished washing. And I'm going to give it a nice mix. Make sure I incorporate all the ingredients together. You don't want to over mix it because then your meatballs will be dense. So you just want to get it nicely combined and then you can go ahead and start forming your little meatballs. Just make sure that egg is all in there. Use my fingers a little bit. Okay, so it's all nicely mixed, so you can determine how big or small you want your meatballs. I like mine with the palm full. I'm just gonna roll it. And I'm gonna put it into my pot there and I'll cook them. And I'm just eyeballing each one. They're about even. And I'm gonna continue doing this until all the meat is gone. And then I'll show you how I cook them and make a fast sauce. So this is also an easy weekday meal. Usually um, we like to have our sauce going for hours on the stove, but um, when you don't have the time, this is a quick way you can make your sauce with some meatballs for your kids, for your family, for yourself. Okay, so here are my meatballs. All nicely done. I'm going to be turning on my stove. I'm going to start off with it at about eight. So almost at high just to get it going. I haven't added any oil or anything to my pot. I'm just going to see how it does, but I'm going to cover it a little bit just to get things going and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so it's been going for a couple of minutes now. You can see some of the oil from the meat has come out, so I'm just going to give it a little flip. So this is extra lean ground beef. I'm just going to flip it over, let it start cooking on the other side, like that. Obviously, the ones that are closer to the center are cooking a little bit faster. So we just got to play around and make sure everybody gets a chance in the pool. And we'll go ahead and cover that up again and just be patient with it. Okay, here's some more progress. The room starting to come along just keep turning them so they cook on all the sides they're getting nicely brown you can see some of the oil is coming out that's why we didn't have to add any excess oil okay, and we're just going to keep doing that until they're pretty much cooked okay so the meatballs are pretty much cooked. 
I'm just going to pop them into a plate for now. And I'm going to clean out this pot, discard this oil, and uh, get to making the sauce. Okay, so I've cleaned out the pan. I'm going to start by drizzling some olive oil. I'm going to warm that up. To it, I'm going to add some onion. Just let that saute for a little bit. You can add fresh garlic if you like. Today I'm not going to. I like a little bit of black pepper. I like that. We'll move that around. Okay, so I'm going to add my homemade sauce. I'll put a link in the bio how we make our own homemade sauce. I've made a previous video on that. That's something that we do in the summer, typically the end of August. We preserve our tomato sauce. That was about half a jar bottle because we used some to make pizza the other night. I'm going to put another bottle in there. And then I'm just going to let this come to a boil before I add my meatballs in. Okay, it's come up for a boil. Add the meatballs back into the sauce. There we go. Get in there, back into the pool, everybody. In the meantime, I have put my water to boil. And my choice of pasta this evening is, um, what's it called? spaghettini so it's a little bit smaller than a spaghetti it's a little bit finer but it's one of the ones that i enjoy so i go ahead and have what i like so i'm going to cover it and i'm going to reduce the heat and i'm going to continue to let that cook okay i just want to show you how things are moving along and my little trade secret is i'm going to add in a um, chili pepper to cook in the sauce is going to give it some great flavor. I'm going to give that a mix. And it looks wonderful and it's smelling wonderful. Can't wait to eat this up. Okay, so the pasta is almost cooked. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove my meatballs. From the sauce. Now if you didn't want to make pasta and you just wanted to have your meatballs, your meatballs are now cooked. So you can make a meatball sandwich, you can eat them just like that, whatever you like. That's what we tend to do with our leftover meatballs is have a meatball sandwich the next day for lunch. Kids love it to take to school. So I'm going to put those aside. I'm gonna get ready to drain my pasta. So my pasta is drained and I'm gonna start adding spoonfuls or scoopfuls, ladlefuls, whatever you wanna call it, to the pasta. And then I need my wooden spoon back, sir. Thank you. And I'm just gonna underneath kind of get that sauce to go through I don't add anything to my pasta to not make it stick I know some people put olive oil or they run it with cold water I do none of that you just got to learn to work 
fast. So I'm gonna add more sauce now. And I'm just gonna keep doing that until our desired liking of sauce to pasta ratio is achieved. And I'll show you what it looks like in a sec. So there you have it. My spaghettini and meatballs from my family to yours. We love you. Enjoy. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.